Hey guys, little intro before we see this video. Hi, Peter Kitty Cat. Um, I want to apologize because I don't really like the way this video came out. Um, I think it is very low energy and I think it's a bad unboxing, but it's all a credit to how very, very disappointed I am with this box. Um, very disappointed with this hat that I'm wearing just because, because boy, it's shenanigans and fiascos with this box. But uh, here it is. Again, I apologize. I don't feel like it's up to my standards, and I hope you guys will forgive me for this one and just take it for what it is, and I promise to do better next time. Hey, guys. I'm back and um, a little late, but thankfully, you know, before the end of the month, but we've got November's Shit Hits the Fan Mystery Box. Um, my fault, not theirs. Uh, had some fiascos with the address change and everything going on, and I just totally forgot to, to get it fixed in time. So, but it's here. It's here. And we've got, you know, just a... A day or two to spare before the end of November so we're gonna jump right into this before we do that though I've got some shout outs I need to get out there uh, David Waters I missed David's birthday on November 24th um, I just didn't have a new video to, to throw that into so I apologize um, David would like to make a guest appearance on a video and we're trying to figure out how to make that happen as a guest reviewer so working on that one Gemma Comissioni Gaming with Jacob, Fat Guy 21, Fish Er, so like fish and then ER like Fisher, but anyway, two words. Matthew Esser. Hello, sweetie. That's my phone. Uh, Matthew Esser just wants to hear me pronounce his name, so I hope I got it right. Check down in the video description for uh, the actual spelling of that name. An awesome guy, 77777. So thank you guys for uh, supporting the channel, um, for watching the videos, for participating in the conversations, you know, and uh, a lot of you guys have a really good sense of humor in in your comments and our discussions and everything, and we'll get to more shout outs, you know, next video and stuff. So anyway, and for anybody who's been, uh, you know, debating whether or not this thing is, you know, Bud K or um, the other company or whatever, or, you know, let's just, we're going to settle it right here. Look at the return address. BKW Incorporated. Okay. Oh, I see a combat tourniquet in there already. It's cool. Have three of them, so it's automatically going in the giveaway. So I don't know what to do first. This looks cool. Um, actually, this is nice. I like this. My dad being a Vietnam veteran. Uh, you know, I should. I always forget this. I always forget that they've got a packing card because they always put it on the bottom of everything. So let me find it first. There we go. Um, the survival tip of the month. A rain poncho is a valuable survival tool. Thank you. Okay. There's the survival tip of the month. Screenshot that. Read it at your leisure. Okay. All right. So we've got the Elite Box here. The Elite Box costing us $89.99 a month. They're telling us that the MSRP retail value there is $133.88. Let's start in the basic box and let's go by the box. So let's start with the Max Edge Two-Step Sharpener with the MSRP of $3.99. So it's another one of these fixed angle sharpeners. Um, we've got, you know, it's your standard. You've got your carbide and your ceramic. And if, if you don't know a lot about sharpening a knife and, and you're, you're new to it and you just need some simple blade maintenance, these things are good. But uh, yes, I know I'm going to do a sharpening video. I've just got a lot to do to get to it before I get there. Um, but, you know, once you learn how to use stones and actually sharpen, you'll, you'll see why these are not the best choice for doing it. But for simple, simple blade maintenance, you know, or if you don't kind of have knowledge on how to really use a whetstone or a diamond stone or one of the good sharpening systems, not bad. Um, $3.99, fair price for this, what you'd pay in a store. This is going in the giveaway, though. This is actually going in the don't like it pile though, just because, you know, once upon a time, before I, I was experienced and I knew a lot better, I'd love these little things. They are pretty easy to use, but they're also pretty easy to mess up your blade if you don't know what you're doing. So we're going to put this one in the don't like it pile right away. Oh, and before I forget, the good old trusty Spyderco Manix 2, Maximet Steel, used to open the box. I've been forgetting to say that, and people have been asking me in the comments, so... I'll remember to throw that out there this time. So next, Edible Plants Survival Booklet. 
retail value of $7.99. Uh, this is going in the like it pile actually because this is just a good useful guide to have especially now that Aiden is um, Starting Cub Scouts and we're going to all of his you know activities and meetings This is something that I can bring in and share with the pack uh, He's a wolf by the way, so um, Good reference material It's got a lot more than just what's edible and what's not and obviously this is um a, a short reference guide, yeah, like it says, quick reference guide. There's a lot more out in the world than just what's on this card, but better than nothing, right? Uh, and it's plasticized, it's so it's not just some little paper thing that if it's in your pocket and it rains, it's gonna get messed up. $7.99, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you would be charged somewhere $7.99 for this, but I'm sure you could also find it a lot cheaper than that. But, oh, thank, thank God that this is on there too when possible okay but I like when they encourage you to seek professional medical advice like there's probably somebody out there that's gonna have this card and think they now have a medical degree in wilderness medicine because of it <clears throat> but that's cool it's good to have so I'm gonna put it in the like it pile exclusive licensed artwork cap licensed artwork oh so licensed artwork means let me get this thing open. It is by Double Down. It's made in China. Not a surprise. Um, so, I'm not sure what they mean by licensed artwork exactly, because this camouflage pattern is um, very similar, if not exactly. I'd have to ask my dad, but this is the uh, Vietnam era jungle tiger stripe camouflage pattern. When you look at, you know, U.S. issued camouflage pattern uniforms as we're transitioning out of just OD green uniforms into camouflage actual uniforms uh, in Vietnam, this is what a lot of special forces, uh, ranger type units wore. Um, it's a couple very rare pictures of my dad in uh, uniforms like this when he was in Lima Company of the LERP units. Uh, <clears throat> So I'm, I'm just not sure what the limit, limited edition artwork is exactly, but uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I've always said I'm not I'm not a fan of like American flag hats and stuff, but it's a nice hat. I mean, it feels decently made, even though it's made in China. I like that the hat is embroidered on instead of the big, bulky you know Velcro thing. There's a shot of me in a very busy kitchen there, but actually it fits pretty good. Um, what do you guys think? Yeah? I mean, hats don't often fit me that well. I don't, I don't like them. I feel like they're just kind of bulky, but this one, not bad. What do you think? Yeah? As a hat goes, I like it. I'm not a hat guy. I don't normally wear hats, but this is good, and it feels pretty comfortable. Mm, it's a hat, but I'll put it in the blanket pile. So, rolling right along. Black Glass Breaker Rescue Pen. Oh, by the way, price on the hat, $9.99, sure. $9.99 for any hat you're gonna, you know, walk in and buy in a store. I think it's a fair price for the hat. So let's look for the Black Glass Breaker Rescue Pen, $12.99. I'm assuming, I saw this box before. This looks like a pen-sized object. Sorry, I know, somebody's gonna get very offended that I didn't clean the paint off my hands before I did this video. I washed my hands, I did, it's paint, it doesn't always come right off all the way. <clears throat> I have this exact same pen. Uh, now they're calling it a rescue pen, which is the first time I've seen it called a rescue pen. A lot of times I call it a tactical pen, um, but I have this exact same one uh, in two different finishes actually, in black and in silver, and let's see, how does it write? Uh, not bad. Ballpoint. I mean, it's it's a standard pen. Um, you can break glass with it. You can also uh, smash somebody's temple with it. It's pretty light. Nice retention on the clip. I mean, standard pen. I don't have a lot of enthusiasm in this box. I don't know. Can you guys can you guys tell? Uh, a lot of this stuff is just meh. I feel like maybe uh, before the end of the year they're dumping an overstock in this box or something, but 12 dollars 
Um, okay, so twelve ninety nine, no way. We can find this a lot cheaper than twelve ninety nine. I know we can. Um, so if we look around, you probably find this for half the price. So uh, this is kind of a neither a like it or don't like it. Uh, there are there are much better versions of this product available in a lot of places. I'm not saying that this one's not good, and I'm not saying it's not useful. I'm just saying for the price for twelve ninety nine, I expect a lot more from this from what they're claiming. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to put it in kind of a middle pile in the in a meh. Right, so we've got don't like it, like it, and meh, but this is also going giveaway. So moving on, Trailblazer, four foot bungee cord twin pack, three ninety nine. All right, I'm not even going to open this. It's it's a bungee cord pack. Um, I don't like it. It's a bungee cord pack. I get this at Walmart. Like, eh. Is this something you guys would want in a giveaway? I don't know. You tell me. Is this something that would be exciting? I'm putting this in the don't like it pile. Yeah, I get it. Somebody's going to tell me, oh, well, in a situation where you got to pack up and haul out and all that stuff, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But still, I'll get it at Walmart. I'll keep it in the garage. I have bungee cords and, you know, for packing and stuff. It's just, I guess, man, I'm just not excited by this box, guys. I'm, I'm not. I'm hoping it gets better. I see a, a hatchet and a machete, and, and hopefully it gets better, but meh. That don't like it. Three ninety nine, though, I think is a fair price for it. Feeling really let down here. Flow tool, six foot super siphon with hand pump, six ninety nine. <clears throat> well, this is a useful thing. Uh, we got something like this in Battle Box, a bit fancier, but useful. We talked about not wanting to get a mouthful of gasoline like they always do in a movie. Um, stealing gas out of somebody's car. I don't know how well this one works compared to the Battle Box one. The Battle Box one was valued a lot more expensive than this one. But this looks pretty simple. Three easy steps. And I really have no reason to believe this one wouldn't work. It, it's a lot simpler, actually, than the Battle Box one. So this is going to like it, pile. Is this something you guys would want to see in a giveaway? All right, now we have... Okay, now this might be exciting. Gavilin Cornetta Textured ABS Handled Machete for $9.99. Uh, we've had something by these guys before and in another box, and actually it was a great item. It was another machete. It was a different kind of design, um, but it was a really good blade. Very thin very workable um, and again the price was very similar it was $9.99 uh, but it was a, a, a just I took it outside and just absolutely slaughtered some weeds this one does not have as much bend not as much spring but it still feels just as good simple ABS handle but you know what it's comfortable and it's big enough for big hands made in Colombia I'm looking for a marking of some kind of steel, but I'm just going to assume that this is just some carbon steel of some kind. Because um, I don't see anything, but you know, I'll, I'll look up specs, see if I can find some specs. But uh, Surprising. Budget company, but well-made stuff. Little bit front heavy, but you know, it's a machete, so we're not going to fault them for it. Not bad at all. I'm going to put this in a like it pile. And you know what I do like about it? It's not fancy. It's it's not. It's a $9 machete, $10 machete. Um, and it's just a simple cutting tool. They make it, you can see it's heat treated, and on its way to you. And that's it. So that was everything that's in the basic box. So the basic box would have been uh, $19.99 with a retail value of $55.93 MSRP. Now we're moving into the Pro Box. So everything that was in the basic box, plus the camp dining utensil tool. So now we'll get back to this little guy right here. Now, like I started to say way back in the beginning of the unboxing, and then I stopped when I realized we should probably go by the card. Um, special to me, you know, as, as a modern day veteran, I've basically been spoiled. Uh, society 
and America has been very good to us. And I've always kind of felt really bad for my dad who came home from Vietnam. Uh, he did three tours there and then moved on to other parts of his career. But, you know, people were not good to those veterans. Um, they were really... America was shitty to those veterans. And, you know, it's a heartbreaking story. If you don't know about it, you should look it up because they served their country like every other veteran of every other war has. And because people were against the war, they treated the veterans awful. But... This is an awful quality knife. Like, I can feel it. It's it's rattly. It, can you hear that? It's rattly. It's not sturdy. I don't know if these parts are designed to come apart. I think they are. So you have your knife. Oh, I'm sorry. You have your fork and... I'm guessing this is a can opener. Yep. And a bottle opener. We'll forgive the bottle opener on this because it's designed for eating stuff. You might need to open a bottle while you're eating. But then on this side, you have your knife... and a spoon, and this knife is not sharp. We won't even test it. It's not sharp, I can tell you. Uh, <clears throat> still, stuff is rattly, um, but the sentiment is nice. Uh, and I, I might offer this to my dad instead of throwing it in the giveaway. He might just want to put it on a shelf somewhere or something. Um, <clears throat> but quality level aside, uh, it's a fork, a knife, a spoon, and a bottle opener, can opener. So if you're, you know, bug out bag type stuff, you want to throw it in there. You can even take this off if you weren't into that. I want to be a dick about it. And just say, hey, you've got your little emergency preparedness tool. Now we can close it. Um, what did they say this was? Let me see. $5.99. Quality feels like $2.99 to me, but I think $5.99 is probably a fair price for what you're going to find this you know, out there. Um, <clears throat> I, I like the design on it more than I like the actual tool. It's not a bad tool. No slip rubber coated handle. That's a flat out lie. It's plastic. Uh, you wouldn't have that design on rubber, but a razor sharp knife blade. That's a lie. But other than that, eh, this is something you can throw in your bag for an emergency. You're going to use, you know, an emergency, maybe camping once a year, so I, I guess it's not going to hold up that well, but that's what you have, handcrafted in China. Mm. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in the, in the meh pile, in the middle ground. It's not great, not terrible, it is what it is. Okay, waterproof army poncho. Waterproof army poncho. Apparently, uh, even though our survival tip of the month is all about uh, a poncho, um, and it says waterproof army poncho, anybody want to point out the waterproof army poncho in this box to me? We have no waterproof army poncho, which they say would have been worth $11.99, um, but there's no poncho. So I guess I got to get on the phone and talk to these guys and say, where's my poncho? Because there's no poncho. I don't know how many boxes might be missing a poncho. I, this box is a, is a really big disappointment. Because these items are in the like it pile, doesn't mean I'm, um, I'm thrilled to have them, by the way. So there's the like it pile, the don't like it pile. That's just evaluating the stuff that's in the box. Overall, I'm not really thrilled. There have been boxes with a lot more stuff, a lot more flexibility with this. I don't know. But now we don't even have something that's supposed to be in the box. I would love to see what the poncho was. Is it an actual army poncho? Is it like... Um, don't even have a picture of a poncho on here, so I don't know. Is this the hat I was supposed to get? Is this the individual, like, the, what did they call it? The exclusive licensed artwork cap? Because, I'll be honest, it's a much cooler hat than the one I got. Um, I... Man. I'll take this box outside and pee on it. All right, so, you know, we just, uh, all right, moving right on. Rapid uh, application tourniquet system, the RATS tourniquet, $14.99. Yes, the RATS tourniquet is expensive. Uh, it is, um, it's a very well-made, very useful combat application tourniquet. Uh, I have a couple already. Um, <clears throat> I have other videos where you can take a look at, at how they work. 
am definitely going to put this in the giveaway pile. I do like this. I like it for sure. $14.99 is a very fair price for this thing. Comes with very easy instructions right there. Very, very heavy grade rubber for the tourniquet there. It's pretty self-explanatory when you look at the instructions and you use this thing. But very lightweight, um, like high quality aluminum to set this all up. And this is pretty good in terms of medical equipment quality. So this is definitely going into the giveaway though. I'm assuming this would be a piece of gear that somebody would want, right, for the giveaway? Yes, I'm hoping. Um, I've got news for the giveaway, by the way. I haven't mentioned that. But this is definitely going in the giveaway, and it's going in the Lincoln pile. So, your price, if you were to buy the Pro Box, would be $49.99. And they say it's an $88.90 value, but let's take away $11.99, because there's no poncho in there, is there? Pretty upset about that. I want that hat. It's a much better hat. That makes more sense when they say exclusive license artwork hat. All right, and now moving into the Elite Box. So everything in the Pro Box, everything in the Basic Box, and a rechargeable UV Orb Light for $24.99. I'm guessing this is a rechargeable UV Orb Light. Wait a minute, UV? So this is a UV light. That's bright. It's very bright. Oh, okay. I, the, I didn't recognize what this was before. This is a Mule Light. These things are awesome. Um, so it's technically not UV. It's glow in the dark, and it's a really cool... Okay, you gotta check out these mule lights. I've wanted to order one of these for a long time. I'm actually really happy. This this to me... So yes, number one, $24.99. These things are expensive. Um, these are really good glow in the dark things, and I've, I've really wanted to order one, and now I have one to mess with to decide if I really want to order more. So it has its own internal light to charge the glow in the dark. So number one, you've got this um, kind of cool light to begin with and I'm gonna have to find a dark place this side is not lit up this side is just glow in the dark and I don't know if you can see kind of the grains in there but that's glow in the dark material but it's made in a way so that it like diffuses the light better and then this has the light inside but it's charging the glow in the dark orb and then when the lights off all that material glows and it's USB rechargeable so you can recharge this light and, or leave it in the sun and you leave it in the sun for a little while and this stuff is supposed to glow forever and not forever honest uh, uh, you know not forever obviously um, but they have these things in all sorts of different um, different shapes and you know you could get just little pieces you get keychain fobs you could get uh, just uh, it's really cool and I'm not I don't know. I shouldn't really say that now because I don't want you guys all going to the website and looking it up and like until I evaluate it for real. But I've just I've always meant to order some of it and I never did. So now I have one to mess with. So that's cool. It has flashlight mode. It has energy saving interval mode, which is a flash. And then it has a dark sensing interval mode. Um, which means that's what the light sensor is for in the dark. It will go into interval mode. It, it's, it's really cool. Um, I'm excited to mess with this thing, and if it if it does work well, I'm probably going to order more of their products, and then, you know, I'll review them on the channel. So, uh, it's sad that this little thing is the one thing I'm most excited about in this whole box. Yeah. But, Orb Light is definitely going in the Like It pile. Can't wait to mess with it some more, and see if it's something I'm interested in, in you know, more of their products. I'm thinking, by the way, since there are no gloves anywhere on this list, did they not give me a poncho and give me gloves? Like, gloves and ponchos are just exchange, you know, kind of interchangeable items. Um, and if so, you know, what about these gloves? I don't know anything about these gloves. I think I actually have gotten these exact same gloves in a previous box. They are uh, gloves. So now I'm good. I can uh, go play baseball. I've got batting gloves. I've got golfing gloves. They are very thin. I guess they're good for grip. Um, but... They have no they're, no, they're not warm gloves. They're not for any of that, I can tell you that. Um, I guess if I was in a wet environment or something, though, and I needed to, like, hold on to my weapon or any other kind of tool, that would be good. But they're very thin. 
they don't stretch very much. Like they look like they'd be stretchy, but they don't. These are size large, and you know how I'm always saying I got the big gorilla hands. Um, size large actually is a little bit small on me. I'd like to have a little bit more, a little bit more room in the finger area, um, but not too uncomfortable. Couldn't I mean they, they're they feel good, um, and because they're kind of thin, you know, I'm not likely to get too sweaty in them doing things. Plenty of finger dexterity. I'd like to see the poncho. I'd like to have the poncho. Really like to have that other hat. Oh, I'm not going to stop bitching about that hat. Now that I know I, that other hat, like, that's a cool hat. So we've got the gloves. I'll put the gloves in the, in the mat pile, the middle ground pile. All right, so the last item on the list is the Colombian Survival. Guys, I'm sorry. i got to stop for a minute. I'm sorry. I feel like this is like one of the worst unboxings ever. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to be enthusiastic about this box, but I'm just not feeling it today. I'm really not. Colombian Survival Gray Camping Hatchet, 1999. We've got our big congratulations. We are winners again. Uh, this one doesn't look too bad. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Colombian Survival. Made in China, Colombian survival. Um, so, so ABS plastic basically handle, but a nice rubberized grip. Weight feels pretty good, uh, but it is just a basic little hatchet. Now, some of you guys have asked me if I would throw a hatchet or two in a giveaway, and so what a perfect hatchet to throw in a giveaway. Uh, I might use that puck we got in the last battle box to maybe put a little bit more of an edge on this. Not much. Um, I'm not going to take it outside and do anything with it right now. But it's simple. It, weight is good. I'm sure it'll chop through stuff. So $19.99 for this, I, I, I think you could probably find something of equal value a lot cheaper. Um, I mean, I, but for 20 bucks, I'm not going to take it outside and try to destroy it because I think I really will take it outside and try to destroy it. Well, guys, I guess, I guess that's it for today. I am, um, <clears throat> I'm really disappointed in this box. Uh, gotta be honest, um, shit hit the fan box has never hit me, left me feeling this blah before. It's just blah. I don't know. Um, between, you know, the, just, just kind of not excited for the stuff in it and then the disappointment of, of realizing that they have done the old item swap on me for stuff. I, I don't know. So, you know, love to hear your comments on stuff. Um, what do you think? I mean, there's one item that I'm really excited about in this whole box. Like one thing that I'm like, yeah, cool. Everything else is just blah. Um, and I, I kind of actually, I don't even like hats. I kind of like that hat until I realized it's not the one I was supposed to get. Um, anyway, so, okay, sorry. So, the big giveaway. I got stuff, guys. I got stuff. Stuff is here. Um, yeah, so I got to go separate all the giveaway stuff. Um, probably over this weekend, I'll get a giveaway video put together and we'll start the contest and i'm um, sorry for it taking so long but we've got so much more stuff to add now so it should be exciting anyway here you go november shit hits the fan elite mystery box it's a shitty box <sighs> hopefully i'll have something good to make up for this coming up real soon but anyway this box sucks but you guys are awesome i appreciate all of you and I'll be back again real soon.